Hey everybody, welcome back to Hard for Games. I'm Tony. I'm the Reverend Bobby. And today we're going to be talking about a weird little item. It is the Toyota Game Boy. And big thank you to Retro Taku Video Games yes, sir. in Madison Heights, Michigan for letting us borrow this. Yeah, thanks Dan. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, this is kind of an, an interesting little item in that it's a Toyota branded Game Boy and it was a part of a uh, promotion. Yeah, basically. like a marketing stunt, sort of, if you will. Yeah, and from what I can gather, I've heard a couple different scenarios, but from what I can gather, basically, mm -hmm. if you purchase a Toyota at participating dealerships, this was in Japan only, yeah, by the way, yes. the dealership would give you a Game Boy Pocket. And there was actually- That's my reason to buy a car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let me just go ahead and get a car for this. I've also heard that they gave you a free Game Boy Pocket if you took a test drive, which I think that's a little bit loosey-goosey. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think people would take advantage of that and they would know it. I've also heard that if you purchased a Toyota vehicle at participating dealerships, they would give you the option to buy one of these, which also doesn't really make sense. It was like a like a package, you know, the the Game Boy package. Yeah, but but it's like if you bought a car, why would you then like the salesperson would have to be like, oh, what do you want this Game Boy too? I mean, come on, like they probably yeah, just it seems kind of weird. Yeah. yeah, and um, yeah, so it was kind of bizarre. I, I and it's also the not the first time that both Nintendo and Toyota had partnered. Apparently, mm -hmm. there was a. Toyota branded, I keep saying Toyota like so many times. <laughs> there is you know a, when you say a word so many times? It doesn't that sound it just, like the word anymore. Yeah, like, like garage. It, anyways, point, <laughs> point being, there was also a regular Game Boy version with Toyota, obviously before the Game Boy Pocket came out. But kind of a, a neat little promotion. Well, see, Toyota started going more compact, so they wanted more compact Game Boy. There we go. That's a whole reason why the Game Boy Pocket exists. Exactly. exactly Toyota yeah. pressured, it's all marketing. Pressured Nintendo. Everything we just said was... Not True. entirely correct. So Nintendo was no stranger to promotional systems. No. In fact, there's a whole gamut of Game Boy variants. Uh -huh. Yeah, like uh, Manchester United Game Boys. Tamagotchi Game Boy. Oh, God. Kill I mean, them all. All sorts of different versions, basically. Yeah, I mean, you give them enough yen, why not? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Yep. And as you can see, this one actually still has the box, which is really neat. Yeah, really cool. It has the Toyota branding on the sides, which is kind of cool. We open it up here, and there, you know, there's some uh, instructions, instructions, basically. It's got some happy batteries on mm -hmm. there. I kind of like them. Cool, got this little, like, cover thing, the winky face cover. It does really legitimately look like, like a... Like a, like a robot winky, winky face, because <laughs> it's, like, really serious. Yeah. And it's just like it's just a protecting cover, Ooh, but it yeah. does really that look like... That was some like nice docking face. there. Yeah, it was good. Let's try that again. Ooh. That was fresh. I like that. <laughs> I like that, too. Never really there. knew that, did you guys? Robot winky face Game Boy Pocket. <laughs> yeah, it actually... Before emojis, right? And then there's a bunch of warnings in there, too. Like, yeah. you definitely should not, according to Nintendo, drive while playing your Game Boy. I mean, I do it. The, I love Nintendo's warnings. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what it says, but the pictures are great. Don't put headphones in. Yeah, what the... Or don't listen to loud maybe music. Don't, yeah, maybe don't listen to it too loud. Don't put the Game Boy Pocket in your back pocket? But it's like, why can't you put your Game Boy Pocket in your pocket? Maybe it's because the screen's facing out or something, or maybe it's because well, it's your back it, pocket. Was it Samsung or Apple where they bent or something like that? Maybe these were the original benders. I don't know. I have no idea. But then, you know, we get to the anyway. actual Game Boy itself, and it kind of has that cool, clear, sort of transparent yeah, seeing case. Seeing all the, the guts, if you will. Yeah. And, you know, this one, unfortunately, has a crack in it. It's weird, though, because you can't feel the crack from the outside. It's like an internal yeah. crack. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it sucks that it has a crack, but at the same time... You know, these are rare enough that even though it does have one, having the box and the instructions mm -hmm. almost kind of negates that because it's like, holy crap, like... Yeah, this is awesome. You're still, like, it, it's still a complete package, basically, which is kind of neat. wonder how many of these they actually had. I, I do not know, you know, if you happen to know the, the quantity uh, that were given out by Toyota, let us know in the comments below. I, I always love clear cases with electronics because I loved seeing the circuit boards. Yeah, it's like those, um, you know, mid-90s clear telephones. Yeah, the clear tele, you know? yeah, they're awesome. The one that your sister always had, you know. Yeah, and so, you know, let's go ahead. We're going to boot it up here, throw mm -hmm. a game in, and it's basically just a Game Boy Pocket. I mean, there's literally, there's nothing different about this other than the branding on the box and on the front. That's yeah, it. Yeah, just that little bezel around there on the Game Boy in, in the special box that... 
yeah. as the label. So again, it's a neat little collector's item, but it's not like it boots up with a different splash screen. That'd be or, cool. Or something like that. That would be cool, yeah. but definitely would be a lot more work on yes. Nintendo's part, for sure. And this would probably be just a lot easier. But yeah, that said, we you know we just thought that that was kind of like a neat little item to show off. And again, yeah. a big thank you to Retro Taku. Mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate you guys. If you're in the Metro Detroit area, check them out. Check them out. They're my favorite retro game store. Legitimately, I'm there quite a bit. <laughs> spending my money but that said you know if there are other like sort of specialty branded consoles or handhelds mm -hmm. that you're familiar with like there was a hello kitty dreamcast for example that you would like us to cover let us know yeah. which ones in the comments below and we'll try to get to them if we can yeah and other than that thank you for subscribing thank you for hitting the notification button and we'll see you guys next time thank you Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and a share, and we will see you guys next time.